Howdy folks, Josh here with Weekend Angler and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a complete teardown, cleaning, lubrication, and reassembly of a Bass Pro Shops CMX 3000B Cat Max bait casting reel. So stick around, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. Alright guys, right off the bat, let me tell you this is going to be a long video. More than likely, I'm going to break this down into two parts. The first video is going to be the complete disassembly of this Bass Pro Shops Cat Max reel. And the second video will include the cleaning, lubrication, and reassembly of this reel. Now this is the CMX 3000B. This is the current production model that's being sold in the stores at Bass Pro Shops. There are several other Cat Max bait casting reels Primary, predominantly they're all the same reel. Uh, there's just been a few changes. This video should, for the most part, work with any model of Cat Max bait caster that you do have. So we'll go ahead and get started. We'll roll out this. This is just a piece of that uh, rubberized drawer liner. I use that when I'm cleaning reels. This helps if I drop anything. It keeps it from bouncing off into the floor. Also keeps me from getting the kitchen table all messed up and getting in trouble. So right now I can still do all this stuff in the house. So guys, let's get started here. We'll get our toolbox open. And we'll be ready to go. Give me just a moment. There's our Bass Pro Shops Cat Max reel. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty. And we're going to start off by removing this side plate. Sometimes you can get these by hand, sometimes they get a little gummed up. So we'll loosen those with a screwdriver. Turn the rest of them out by thumb. We'll set that part aside. Now you can pull the spool out. Set the spool aside. Let's go ahead and get our one thing you will want to have is a plastic bin to keep all your parts in. Go ahead and set that right there. Because now we're going to go ahead and start getting our screws taken out. There are two screws in the back of the reel that holds the magnetic anti-backlash brake into place. Once those screws are removed, you can remove the, remove the brake assembly, put it aside. We'll go ahead and put the two screws right there with it. Behind that are two more screws. Those hold the side cover plate on. We'll remove those. Take the ring, the spring, and side cover plate. We'll set that part aside. Now we'll continue work on the real body. We're going to be removing these two screws and the little screw right here. It holds everything together. So this is the line guide assembly. Get those two done. Now this right here we'll have to take and just undo one of those screws and turn that off to the side. And that lets you get down to this screw that holds the worm drive gear together. Take that one out, put it down in our pan. Remove these two screws. And our line guide assembly comes apart. Drop everything in our parts bin. 
we can remove our idler gear here. That gives us access to our line guide. Now to remove that, we're going to just take the crescent wrench. Put our pole cover. There's our line guide pole. You'll want to inspect that pole to see if it's worn at all. This one looks like it's, uh, aside from being a little dirty, looks like it's in pretty good shape. Those are cheap to replace if, if you have to. Now, to remove the line guide itself, we're going to remove this little circlip right there. To do so, just get you a flat screwdriver. Pull that out. Set that aside. Now everything comes out. Got the line guide retainer. Your worm drive with the gear. Your line guide. Now, keep an eye on which one. This this one right here is the one that goes on the side of the reel with the circle. The other one has an oddball shape. And that retainer is going to go that way. Now, we're going to uh, do a complete disassembly on this one. So we are going to remove the thumb assembly here. Again, that's going to use a circlip. Pull that loose. Put that in your bin. Behind there's a washer. Make sure you save it. Once that's done, you can lift this retainer up and out of the way. Put that down through there. Pull that loose, and your thumb assembly will come out. Use these two little side pleats. One goes on each side of the reel. There's your engagement thing. We get that. So now the reel body is complete. Guys, the spool we don't have to do much with. We'll be able to clean that without disassembling the spool. There's no reason to do so. So now that moves us on to the main drive assembly of the reel. And to get that apart, we're going to start off by removing the handle nut retainer. Now this is usually a 10 millimeter nut, so you can use a 10 millimeter nut runner or a crescent wrench like I do. So we'll remove that. Then the handle comes off. Undo your star drag. Underneath the star drag, you have your clicker. And on top of the clicker is two washers, two black washers. Underneath the clicker is a silver washer. We'll put all those together over here and we'll continue on. We can remove the spool tensioner. Now that we have that, we can remove the two screws that hold the side plate of the reel together. We'll set those to the side. 
Now the side plate of the reel should come apart. All right, we'll lift that off. Inside here is your main handle bearing. We're going to poke that out of there from the back. bearing down. We'll set this side plate of the reel aside. Continuing on, this is your instant anti-reverse. Now that looks two different ways. One end you see the nylon, the other end you see the metal. That end goes up. That goes towards the outside of the reel. If you put that in backwards your reel won't turn correctly. So we'll set that aside. There's the anti-reverse sleeve. Now, these two little springs like to fly off, so we're going to take those right now before we go any further, and we're going to set those aside. Now we can get underneath the thing here and start working the main drive gear out. So we'll lift that up. Behind there is a black washer and the sprocket that engages the reel. We'll set those off to the side. This is your drag system take that loose because we're going to clean all of this. Basically this goes metal, fiber, metal, this one's metal with ears, A fiber, metal, and a fiber. Brass main drive gear. We'll set it aside. We're going to pull our pinion gear out. This is what turns the spool when you turn the handle. And the yoke that holds the pinion gear. We'll set that off to the side. And there's really no further disassembly needs to be done on this reel. So we'll pause at this point and we'll get everything ready to clean.